think green infrastructure rather broadly. It's a type of infrastructure investment that couples economic benefits of traditionally functioning infrastructure with environmental and social benefits. It's not as easy to define green infrastructure as you might think. Ultimately, what we did was focus on infrastructure that directly or indirectly supports stormwater management functions, but could fulfill other functions as well, such as green roofs and, of course, green waste. We employ a case study approach to evaluate innovative implement implementation solutions. <coughs> Ultimately, our recommendations are tailored to the city of Philadelphia. But many of the findings and recommendations can apply more broadly to any jurisdiction seeking green solutions for infrastructure reinvestment. We began this research with the understanding that there's a unique moment here for advancing the green infrastructure agenda, not just in Philadelphia, but throughout the region. The Environmental Council commissioned this report because they perceived a problem that to this point has gone unaddressed. Philadelphia has ambitions to be the greenest city in America and has a panoply of plans to support that vision. But there's a growing disconnect between these, these plans and actionable solutions. Well-researched plans, clear economic, environmental, and social benefits, and growing public consensus can, can create some momentum, but stakeholders have failed to develop a winning method for implementation. Of course, the culprit is a general lack of resources, but the roots of the impasse are deeper. To date, implementation plans have focused on project-specific needs rather than broader, sustained approaches. As a result, successes move forward sporadically, while many other exciting projects and ideas languish. Our report concludes that ambitious visions for green infrastructure objectives cannot and will not be accomplished through occasional measures. What is needed now is a focused policy discussion about implementation strategies equal to the scale of proposed public investments. This report fill, fills the gap by exploring two reinforcing approaches, continuing to make the case for green infrastructure investments, and establishing a routine for making those investments. You see green works up on the screen, and when you talk about the zoning and the comp plan and the reform agenda the mayor has, it is an important framework for all of us in government. Uh, without the policy framework, um, this kind of thinking, uh, this kind of forward thinking uh, about the future and dedicated funding is really hard to do without that context. Because uh, it sort of builds support in, inside the government and it's a way for our leaders of these departments to frame our work to begin to think uh, down the line about how do we do this work uh, around the green infrastructure, sustainability, and creating a, re a competitive edge for the city and the region. So uh, thank you for noting that. I think it's a really important part of, of our work. Even without the fund, we need to normalize in our work in government uh, high quality practice that moves us towards sustainability and that drives uh, sort of our green practices. There's, we have billions of dollars that we spend every year uh, in our operating departments. We have to sort of move the capital program, we have to move our operations, we have to normalize practices uh, that get us here and help build uh, the, 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 the evidence uh, and uh, the, uh, the politics forward that would allow us to get to something like this in the future. 